Hi there, this is Jesse Noby, Senior Solutions Architect with Tegra Consulting Group. And in this video, I want to talk about uh, a common problem that I've run across with some clients recently where um, people want to be redirected to a unique URL on another website, but we also want to leverage Eloqua's tracking capabilities for each of those uh, click throughs. So uh, you know, the scenario is you're sending an email out to uh, your database or a segment where you want to, um, you know, maybe use a, a survey or something on another site. Uh, so like SurveyMonkey or something like that. Uh, in my example, I'm just going to use Google, but you can use uh, any address you want as long as there is a uh, unique query string for each of the recipients. Now, uh, the way that we go about doing this, it might be a little bit different for you depending on the capabilities that you have in your instance of Eloqua. Uh, so you may want to use a contact field to store some of this information. But in my example, I'm going to use a custom data object because, uh, you know, I like that because it, you don't have to use up your, your contact fields. And the, uh, the text fields in the custom data object are actually a little bit longer than they are on the contact. So a contact text field can hold 100 characters, whereas a custom data object text field can hold uh, 250, uh, which is great because if we've got a really long query string, um, you know, we, we want to be able to fit the whole thing, obviously. So first off, let's go and just create a real quick email. It's going to be super simple for this example. I'm just going to call this example redirect with query string. And so one of the issues with this that people are going to run into is if you just try and put this URL completely into a field for a field merge, it's really not going to work in Eloqua because Eloqua doesn't know what to do with that. So I'm just going to get this set up and we'll just call this example. So we're going to come back and we're going to populate this with the whole thing. Um, right now, there's really nothing to put in there just yet. And I'm going to put this in our testing area. And we'll save this with the uh, plan of coming back to it. And I'll just save it out here in our root. This is just our sandbox, so it's quite dirty. And I'm going to make a new tab, leave this open so we can come back to it real easily. And the first thing I'm going to do is set up our custom data object. So this is where you might want to do things differently because you might not have the ability to create more custom objects. So if you just had the standard three, maybe you want to reuse one or you know empty it and reuse it uh, in the future. Um, so I'm just going to create this. And we're going to make two fields for this. We don't need anything else. So we'll do email address. That's going to be our unique key. And then we're going to do the query string. All right, save that. Next, we don't need to worry about this. It's not an event. And we're going to set this up to use, sorry, email address. Email address, email address. Save that. Uh, at this point, you know, you might have your list, uh, so you, you should just upload your list into the custom data object with email address in one field, and then in the other field, you're only going to upload the query string values that you want to associate with this URL. So I'm going to do a manual entry, and I'll show you what I mean. That's wrong one, jesse.n, tegra.com. And then in my query string, since this is going to be for Google, I'm going to say Q equals because it's a search. And I'll just say, um, I'll just search for Google. Why not? I'm going to save and map. So when you do your upload, you're going to want to be sure to map based on the email address back to the contact record. All right. And let's just be sure that this maps successfully. Close this, check the reporting. Okay, so it's mapped to my content. Great. Now the next step we need to do is create a field merge for this query string. 
So I'm going to do that over here under components and field merge. I'm going to make a new one. And again, this is just going to be example redirect uh, with query string. And I'm going to choose custom object fields and our new example redirect with query string, query string value. We don't need to fill in this other stuff, but we may as well just put last modified. You don't need to worry about the rest. Let's save that. All right, so we've got our field merge. Um, so with this, you know, if you're not going to use this custom object over and over, if you're creating a new custom object every time, keep in mind you'll have to create a new field merge to correspond with your new URL. So now we're going to go over to email setup and, or rather website setup and go to redirect links. We're going to create a new redirect link. So we actually already have Google in here. Um, if I went to new URL and I put Google in, it's just going to give me this one that I've already created. But I would, you know, go through the motions here, enter in your URL, hit save redirect link, and then that's going to take you to this screen, and this is our URL for our database. So this equates to google.com. So I'm going to copy this, and this is what I'm going to use in my email. So back over here in href, I'm going to pop that in, make sure this is cleaned up. And then I'm going to insert our field merge. And since there's already a query string in here, I need to put an ampersand to continue that. And then I'm going to go into field merge, and I'm just going to pull up our example, and click and drag that in to the path there. And so now this whole thing is going to cause any click-through to go through Eloqua first, that will record the click-through, and then it's going to take any additional query strings that we've added and append those to the destination URL. All right, so I'm going to save this, and I'm going to send myself a test, and let's see if it worked. And we're going to want to be sure to hit HTML email, perform tests, send anyway. Okay, so that's sent successfully. All right, I've just got this up on another screen. So I'll open that up and pull it over here. So now this URL, you see when I mouse over, you can see down at the bottom of this little window that same URL that we paste in. So I'm actually just going to copy this link and open it in a new tab here. And you can see it quickly goes through an Eloqua URL and sends me on to Google. And there we can see that field merge worked successfully. It populated Google in the Google search. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us uh, here at Tegra and we'll be happy to help you uh, with any questions.